What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. My name is Naoya and today I wanted to make this video to show you how different types of trousers will fit with this bad boy, bad gal, bad day. Of course this is the infamous Tabby boots from Maison Margiela. I figured out I would make this since there are a lot of people who style it really well but I think um, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide what looks good and what doesn't look good. So rather than me telling you how I think the Tabby boots should be styled or can look good, I want to create this video as a, a helpful resource for you to reference back, see what kind of cut of the trousers you like uh, paired with the Tabby boots. So how I broke this down is uh, it's basically just going to go from the skinniest pair of pants that I have till uh, the wider leg pants that I have. So to start off, I have my nudie jeans, skinny Lynn jeans. Um, this is the skinniest pair of pants I have, uh, which I wear more typically with my Wyatts and trying to do that typical SLP aesthetic. The next up is Acne Studios Black Hans North uh, jeans. My go-to pair of jeans, regular old skinny slim black jeans. That just fits me well. I had it tailored. Just my perfect go-to for everything. And then we have Club Monaco skinny trousers. I wanted to show you the skinny trousers rather than more casual jeans option uh, if you're into those. And I believe when the Tabbies first came out, or in the earlier collections, uh, when Martin Magella was still at the Maison, the styling on the runway, they've used uh, slim trousers that were kind of stacking on top of the Tabby boots. So this could be a cool reference back to the runway shows from the 90s to the early 2000s. And now moving on to more a little bit wider. Uh, this is where I categorize the straight leg je jeans slash pants. The first one is my cotton five pocket trousers. This is kind of like a crop denim, very easy, very basic. I'm not the biggest fan of crop jeans or crop pants anymore. I still have this just for uh, when I wear boots with taller shaft. Pause. It looks good with combat boots and uh, those kind of things. And then I have my straight leg painted denim. This is my DIY with a pair of denim from when I used to sag my pants. I don't even know when I got it. That was maybe like back in grade eight, grade nine. It's from a long time ago, but I painted the denim when I saw the picture of ASAP Rocky wearing that infamous Gucci denim. And I thought that was sick. So just tried to do, tried to do it on my own. And then we have the Burberry suit trousers. Uh, this is from my Burberry suit set. Um, I think I've shown this on my channel from my one of my earlier videos that I got my Burberry suit for a dirt cheap price from one of my favorite consignment stores here in Toronto. Um, it's got a, a bit of a crop. It's a, just a nice straight leg. And then next up, we have the Hyder Ackerman high-waisted trousers. One of my favorite trousers I have in my wardrobe right now. I think it looks really good paired with the Tobbies. It's not super skinny and it just kind of has that a bit of a flow. I think this is a Kella Comber, at least for me and how I like to wear it. Next up is my, my full on DIY pair of trousers. I named it the Chap Trousers just because that was kind of a reference that I pulled. Um, yeah, this one's very wide leg quite long so it pulls around the boots. This one is a good fit, especially for the summer since uh, there is that kind of cutout slash gap between the upper portion of the, the pants and the bottom portion of the pants. The only thing is when I sit down, it looks like I have my pants down to take a shit. What? Bro, what are you talking about? TMI, man? maybe, I don't know. And then I have my cotton sweatpants. I wouldn't wear it like this. I don't wear sweatpants out in the world that often unless I'm just going for grocery shopping that's down the street. Literally, that's it. I don't like to wear it out out. But I mean, if people like it, 
you know, go for it. You know, it's, it's your outfit. You do you, you like what you like. I respect that. Just not for me. And then the last section I would say is uh, more of the flared jeans, pants that I have. So to start off, I have my Saint Laurent D17 flare denim. Uh, this is just a classic skinny slim pair of jeans that flares out slightly towards the ankle. Um, it's a bit hard to tell wearing it with the tobbies. It doesn't really look like it flares out as much. Um, it's just a more of a subtle take. And then next one is my cotton culottes trousers. Um, this is actually a woman's pair uh, of pants that we have and it goes really well with the tobbies that was the main reason why I bought the this trousers was because that I wanted to wear it with my tobbies. The only thing I did was I rehemmed it so gave me a bit more length to the the pants which turned out really nice and it fits me really well and it goes well with the with the tobbies. And the final, the ultimate pair of pants that I love to wear with my tobbies is the Loewe Fisherman jeans. I don't think I have to say much with it. It's just such a nice pair of pants and it goes so well with the boots. It's one of my favorite looks and it's also the outfit almost. Uh, when I wore it with my Jacquemus shirt, that was the fit pick that Sanjeev used to shout me out, which was very cool, which I still appreciate. Um, so I think there's a bit more credibility to the look com uh, of combining the Loewe Fisherman jeans and the, and the Tabby boots. Kind of want to just take a little side note at the end. Um, I don't think a lot of people are watching it anyway, but I just wanted to include this in my in, in this video. Um, it's about this comment that I got last week. It was like one of those negative comments, which was like the first real, I guess, negative comment that I got on the video. And I got mad. Yeah, not gonna lie, I got mad. It sung me. It was, I thought it was obvious that I, I was referencing Andrews and other, you know, bigger YouTubers in this fashion sphere. And then, you know, I was talking to my friend and, you know, worked it out. And I did a lot of introspection and Obviously there is a bit of insecurity from my end. And what I figured out was that it's, I'm not insecure about my style or what I wear. Obviously I like similar things that a lot of these fashion YouTubers are wearing, uh, especially Sanjeev is one of my biggest in source of inspiration and someone I look up to. But what I was insecure or what I am insecure about is the fact that I don't have like a particular style within the platform of YouTube. I think that was something that was subconsciously affecting me and then led to that reaction. So I don't know, I figured I just, I would just be transparent with how I feel and be a bit more vulnerable. I think this is going to be like a tool for me to understand myself and discover myself as well as creating content that you all can enjoy and uh, be entertained uh, or find things helpful or resourceful. So that's my goal. Um, thank you for tagging along on this journey. I'm here to grow, expand my, my knowledge of myself, learn about myself, and then of course, keeping it fashionable, keeping it looking cool. Um, that's a goal for me on this platform. Thank you all so much for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate you watching all the way through. Um, I hope you found this video, video helpful to figure out what kind of styles of pants you like to pair up with your tabby boots. Please leave a comment down below uh, what kind of pants you like for, with uh, tabby boots and if you what kind of content you want to see from me. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, I would really appreciate it. And also don't forget to hit that like button. And you can also find me on Instagram at N-A-O-Y-A-T-A-K, which is right here in the corner. 
and I will see you next time. Peace.